Now that you've selected a reserve study provider, how do you get off to a good start? How can you make sure they get an accurate understanding of your property's physical condition and deliver results customized for your association? How much of your time is this going to take? Well, in this portion of our Breaking Down the Reserve Study Process webinar, we talk about getting the project started. We give you a sneak preview of what typically happens and what information is exchanged so the process goes as smoothly as possible for you. No surprises. So now let's talk about what's it take to get started on the reserve study process. Now, what actually begins once you've chosen a professional to help you in this area? Well, I'm going to touch on expectations again. And you can see the progress bar at the top of the screen getting started. We're at the beginning, but the expectations are the results are going to be the provider's professional opinion. This is not a customer is always right type of situation. We are giving advice. We're giving counsel and we are taking on liability to do this, guiding your association forward. So it's our professional opinion. What you can expect is accuracy. We're going to look at the conditions that we see and the actions that are needed. And I look at this uh, cartoon on the screen here. And for Aspen Creek condos, they're disorganized, sloppy, and mismanaged. That's the truth of the matter. They may not want to hear that, or they may be comfortable that, um, hey, that's our association. That's the way it is. We're going to call it as we see it. And just because you like that front entry sign, and that's the way it's always been. It's been that way for 15 years and it's been totally fine. We're going to say that entry sign has a remaining useful life of zero. and You no longer are seeing um, the deterioration. And that's an advantage that we have. We come at things with fresh eyes. In our industry, we talk about an idea or a concept called uh, familiarity blindness, where when you see something so often, you no longer see it again. That's like when you go to uh, in the holiday season and you see your nieces and nephews and you say, my, how you've grown. That's because you're not seeing them every day. And again, um, may not be what you want or agree with. This is a professional's recommendation giving you wise counsel that you paid to get. So uh, again, it's not a customer is always right type of situation. Now, early in the process, expect a call or an email from your project manager. And you may want to, at this point in time, set up the communication process. This is going to be the primary contact for the association, dealing with the primary contact for the reserve study company. And you can say, if you're an email type of person or a phone call type of person, I encourage email because it's nice documentation, but expect some questions. They're going to ask, what are you doing for ongoing preventive maintenance? What you know, we, we will see what we see, but how are you doing taking care of it? If the reserve study was done by someone else in the past, we're going to ask for a copy of it. We want to see what they saw, what they found, what they measured. We're going to ask for reserve project history. When was the roof last done? When was the building glass painted? We're going to ask for special concerns. What are you sensitive to? Um, you may be aware that the fence has been replaced three times in the last 10 years. And that points to there being a problem somewhere or why you're always repairing the west side of the roofing on building one. There's something that's an issue there that we value your heads up. We're going to ask for accessibility to the restricted areas. That may be the equipment room on the top of the building. That may be just access to the pool equipment room where we can see the heater and the filter and the pumps, or maybe even the clubhouse that you keep locked on a, a regular daily basis. We're also going to ask for that infrastructure inspection, that structural safety inspection report. That helps us understand if those cracks are just cosmetic cracks or significant cracks, because that type of thing is outside of our scope. That's beyond our area of expertise. And during that same time, if a site inspection is involved, then we'll try to schedule that site inspection. For those of you who've been on our webinars before, let's see, 52% of you said you hadn't before. We talk about there being three levels of service in National Reserve Study Standards. A full reserve study, create from scratch, update with site visit, and an update no site visit. So two of those involve a site inspection. And if that's what you've chosen, then we'll set up the site inspection on a mutually convenient date and time. And then following up on history of what's been done at your association, another pro tip is many of our clients 
maintain a reserve project folder, and that may be a, a manila file, that may be an electronic file that contains the details on all your reserve projects, what you did and when, so you're not scratching your head and trying to do a, a research project of your own when you're starting the reserve study. It helps to have this information all together, and a tip here is maintain a reserve project folder where all this is nicely summarized. At Association Reserves, we make the present less stressful and the future more secure. If you want to join us in this mission, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment down below on what you'd like to see us address in a future video. Let's plan for your best future.